After you successfully harvested an animal, proper fur handling and hide care is the next step in responsibly processing the animal. The fur can then be sold as a whole animal, skin hide, or as a dried fur to a fur buyer or kept as a mount or tan hide for personal use. Preparation for the finished product starts at the harvest site. Cleaning and cooling your harvested game quickly is an important aspect to producing quality fur. For the fur bears caught in the water, rinse out any mud, dirt, or vegetation while you're still at the trap site. You may need to wash them again with a hose when you get home. Wring as much water out of the fur as possible to expedite the drying process. Two common ways of drying the animal are laying the animal on a pallet or hanging the animal by the feet so it's elevated above the ground. This allows natural wind or a fan to increase air movement and aid in the drying process. Make sure to keep your animal out of direct sunlight to preserve the quality of the final product. After drying is complete, brush all of your animals while they are still in the carcass. This is a critical and often overlooked step to finishing with a quality pelt. There are a variety of combs on the market, but sometimes you'll need to work stubborn burrs and other items out of the fur by hand. The equipment needed to handle your fur includes latex gloves and a sharp small knife. A sharp knife is much safer and efficient than a dull one, as it allows you to easily cut rather than to try and saw or use excessive force. Remember with equipment, start basic and build from there. Over time, as you become more experienced, the list can grow to include combs, stretchers, flushing knives, flushing boards, and gambrels or other hanging devices. If you are having the animal mounted by a taxidermist, get the animal delivered as soon as possible. If there is going to be any delay, put the animal in a large plastic bag and freeze it. When searching for a taxidermist, there are many things you need to consider. First off, start by asking people you already know. Friends and family will be brutally honest with their experiences. Outfitters, bait shops, local sporting goods stores, and hunting and fishing clubs may yield promising recommendations. Once you've created your short list of candidates, you will want to make sure you're comparing apples to apples. Some states like Iowa require taxidermists to be licensed, so ask to see their licenses and permits. Additional questions to ask are whether they are insured, will they guarantee their work, what their specialty is, and if they do the work themselves or use a third-party processor. This will allow you to keep track of your mount or fur and ensure a high-quality product. Be aware, taxidermists will also ask you questions. Take some time to think about how you want the animal positioned in the final mount and other details such as the feature you'd like highlighted or a particular motion you'd like depicted. It often takes about a year to get the animal back from the taxidermist and remember quality work is expensive. Another option for processing your animal is to tan the hide for display in your house. You can take the dried animal to a taxidermist and have them skin and tan the animal. If you already have your animal skinned, you can take the hide to the tannery to have it finished. The third option is to skin, flesh, and tan the animal yourself. There are many kits on the market that will walk you through the process. While this takes some time and practice, it can be very rewarding. If you'd rather send your furs to market, you can sell them to a fur buyer. To find a local buyer, look on the DNR website for licensed buyers. Ask your local sporting goods store or contact your local conservation officer or wildlife biologist. A fur buyer is going to want the furs in one of three forms. This would include a whole animal, a skin hide, or as a dried fur. Selling the animal whole is the easiest way and it allows you to meet and learn from a fur buyer what they are looking for and how to properly handle the fur. You will need to present your fur harvester license when you sell your animal. The second option is to sell your fur skin. Pelts are prepared for the fur market by skinning in one of two ways, cased or open. Most animals are case skin, which means the carcass is removed from a cut generally made across the back legs to the vent.
Beaver are open skin, which means a cut is made along the entire underside of the animal and the fur is worked off the carcass. Beaver pelts are then dried in an oval shape. The third option to sell your fur is to flesh and dry the skinned hide. This starts with the skinned hide and the excess muscle or fat is removed from the hide with a fleshing board and a fleshing knife. The hide is then put on a proper size stretcher which holds the hide in a form until dry. Raccoon, muskrats, otters, and mink are sold leather side out, whereas badger, bobcats, fox, and coyotes are sold fur side out. This can be sold to your local buyer or shipped to one of the large fur auction houses. Remember, most fur buyers are glad to explain proper fur handling techniques and answer any preparation questions because it means more profit for the both of you. Don't be afraid to ask. The trick to optimizing fur value is to catch them as late in the season as possible. The hair follicles will be completely developed, leaving a beautiful pelt with thick fur or prime fur. You'll just have to make sure the weather doesn't change your plans, but that's part of the challenge. See you in the field.